Sarah Everard murder, Wayne Cousins given whole life sentence the 30th of September 2021, Sarah Everard image source, Everard family image caption, Sarah Everard was a talented and much loved young woman, Lord Justice Fulford said a Met police officer who murdered Sarah Everard after kidnapping her under the guise of an arrest has been sentenced to a whole life prison term. Wayne Cousins abducted the 33-year-old as she walked home from a friend's house in South London on the 3rd of March. During the sentencing of Cousins, the judge said the case was devastating, tragic and wholly brutal. Ms Everard's family said they were relieved by the fact that Cousins would die in jail. Addressing reporters outside the Old Bailey following his sentencing, Metropolitan Police Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick said. She recognized that a precious bond of trust had been damaged by Cousins, who had brought shame on the Met. Describing him as a coward, she said his crimes were a gross betrayal of everything policing stands for, adding, I am so sorry, video caption, Metropolitan Police Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick says the force has been shamed and rocked by the case and ongoing independent office. For police conduct, IOPC, review of how Cousins became a Met officer has found that vetting procedures miss that two of his previous cars have been linked to allegations of indecent exposure. Speaking to the London Assembly's Police and Crime Committee earlier on Thursday, two senior Met officers said they were not aware of rumours that Cousins was nicknamed the rapist by colleagues. However, HM Chief Inspector of Constabulary Sir Tom Windsor said the nickname was known by some officers. Sir Tom, who in his role has responsibility for the inspection of police forces, told BBC Radio 4's The World at One, Yes, I did know that. And he also had allegedly a reputation in terms of drug abuse, extreme pornography and other offences of this kind, what Cousins' colleagues knew or suspected. About him remains the subject of the IOPC investigation. Trust in police shaken by Everard case, Met Chief Sarah Everard, daughter, sister, friend and colleague how a police officer covered up Sarah Everard's murder when sentencing cousins earlier on Thursday, Lord Justice Fulford described the circumstances of the kidnap, rape and murder as grotesque, telling him he had betrayed his family. He said Ms Everard was an intelligent, resourceful, talented and much-loved young woman, still in the early years of her life. The judge told 48-year-old cousins, notwithstanding your guilty pleas, therefore, I have seen no evidence of genuine contrition on your part, as opposed to evident self-pity and attempts by you to avoid or minimize the proper consequences of what you have done, he said. The seriousness of the case was so exceptionally high that it warranted a whole life order. The misuse of a police officer's role such as occurred in this case in order to kidnap, rape and murder a lone victim is of equal seriousness as a murder for the purpose of advancing a political, religious or ideological cause, he told the Old Bailey. All of these situations attack different aspects of the fundamental underpinnings of our democratic way of life, video caption, a CCTV timeline shows key evidence used to arrest and prosecute Wayne Cousins reacting to the sentencing, Ms Everard's family said they were pleased with the full life term, adding that although nothing can make things better, nothing could bring Sarah back, knowing he will be imprisoned forever brings some relief. Sarah lost her life needlessly and cruelly and all the years of life she had yet to enjoy were stolen from her. Wayne Cousins held a position of trust as a police officer and we are outraged and sickened that he abused this trust in order to lure Sarah to her death. The world is a safer place with him imprisoned. It is almost seven months since Sarah died and the pain of losing her is overwhelming. We miss her all the time. We hold her safe in our hearts, 2px presentational grey line Lucy Manning, BBC special correspondent, from the Old Bailey, Lord Justice Fulford called Cousins warped, selfish and brutal as Wayne Cousins was told he would spend the rest of his life in prison, he kept his head down as he had throughout his time in the dock. He was shaking as he was sentenced. The Everard family looked on. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick was in court to hear the sentence. Her officer a convicted murderer and rapist. Mr Justice Fulford told Cousins his offences were warped, selfish and brutal. The judge said Sarah was simply walking home. After Cousins was sentenced, police officers who investigated the murder hugged the Everard family. But as her parents and sister said yesterday, all they want is Sarah back and no punishment will ever compare to the pain and torture Cousins had inflicted on them. 2px presentational grey line Lord Justice Fulford paid tribute to the dignity of Ms Everard's family, whose statements in court on Wednesday revealed the human impact of Cousins' offending which he said was both sexual and homicidal.
The judge added that Cousins had eroded public confidence in the police in England and Wales. In full, Sarah Everard's family on their lost as following the rules keep women safe. Met chief should quit over Everard case, Harmon in a letter she wrote before Dame Cressida spoke to reporters, senior Labour MP Harriet Harmon called on the Met Police Commissioner to resign. Ms Harmon said women's confidence in the police will have been shattered and it would be impossible for Dame Cressida to oversee the changes needed to rebuild trust. Home Secretary Preeti Patel said there were serious questions for the Metropolitan Police regarding the Cousins case, adding that the force will be held to account. She described the crimes as sickening and said it was right that this monster had been given a whole life sentence. Analysis box by Dominic Cascini, home and legal correspondent when Parliament abolished the death penalty more than 50 years ago, it promised the British people that the worst of the very worst offenders would be locked up in jail for the rest of their lives. Since then a series of complex rules for judges has evolved in order for a whole life order, WLO, to be imposed. The law says a WLO should normally only be considered if an offender has murdered more than once, killed a police or prison officer, abducted an sadistically killed a child, or where the motive was ideological. While MPs did not envisage such a serious crime as this when they wrote the law, they said judges could impose a WLO in other unthinkable cases where the seriousness of the crime was exceptionally high. Lord Justice Fulford concluded the misuse of a constable's role to deceive, kidnap, rape and murder Sarah Everard was as bad as terrorism. It was not only a crime of appalling and prolonged suffering for the victim, but it undermined trust in the police, part of the bedrock of a safe society. And that is why the law allowed the judge to order cousins will never be released to px presentational grey line the old Bailey sentencing hearing had been told how cousins used his Metropolitan Police issue warrant card and handcuffs to abduct Ms Everard as she walked from Clapham to her Brixton home on the night of the 3rd of March. The firearms trained parliamentary and diplomatic protection officer, who had clocked off from a 12-hour shift at the US Embassy that morning, drove to a secluded rural area near Dover where he raped Ms Everard. She had been strangled with Cousins Police Issue Belt by 2.30 GMT the following morning. Disgrace to our uniform Cousins, who was married with two children, then burned the marketing executive's body in a refrigerator in an area of woodland he owned in Hodes Wood, near Ashford, before dumping the remains in a nearby pond. On the 9th of March, he was arrested at his home in Deal, Kent, after police connected him to the hire car he used to abduct Ms Everard. Her remains were found by police. Dogs the next day. Wayne Cousins admitted murder, kidnap and rape Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he was sickened by the details that had emerged during sentencing. Our police are there to protect us, and I know that officers will share in our shock and devastation at the total betrayal of this duty. People must be able to walk on our streets without fear of harm and with full confidence. That the police are there to keep them safe, John Apter, National Chair of the Police Federation of England and Wales, said Cousins was an absolute disgrace to the police service and he was ashamed he was ever a police officer. I am proud to carry a Warren card, but this vile individual's abuse of that authority has cast a shadow on all those who work within policing. He has brought disgrace to our uniform. The way he took advantage of Sarah's trust makes me feel sick to the stomach.